I'll edit it, this all down to some interesting bits, so expect a 20 second video. Hello folks and welcome to a long awaited Dirty Drives video. Massive apologies, it's been, I don't know, a couple of months since the last one. There's a bit of a, been a bit of a change. You probably saw what happened to the Skoda Fabia, the incident on the motorway. Um, and possibly the follow up video, the short video where thankfully there wasn't a lot of damage. But at the point of that incident occurring, we was on the verge of purchasing this car anyway. And here it is, Alfa Romeo Giulia, the 2018 model, and it's petrol. And um, it's very Italian, because we've had loads of little electrical gremlins going on in the last two months. Yesterday, which is a Sunday, the 10th of May, um, about, about lunchtime, it was about 25 degrees outside and all of a sudden the uh, dashboard flashed up at me risk of ice warning and the temperature gauge it's currently showing 22 here yesterday for about a minute it was showing minus two degrees then it just corrected itself after a minute um, the alarm goes off at least once a week randomly and then when you next get in the car because it resets after 30 seconds and thankfully it's not particularly loud um, so when you next get in the car, it comes up attempted braking on the dash. Uh, once the gearbox has taken its time to decide what gear it wants when I was setting off, it does seem to be a little bit temper temperamental in the cold, but it is a ZF 8-speed automatic. It's, I think it's a German gearbox. Anyway, I'm waffling on, so yeah, again, welcome to the Dirty Drives video in our new motor. It is the middle of... Oh, it's June, isn't it? I said May early, didn't I know? It was the 10th of June yesterday. It's now the 11th of June. Just doing a bit simple bit of maths there to work it out. And we're in Hemsworth again. Hey, you know, you know what happened last time was in Hemsworth, don't you? The aforementioned incident. So anyway, I'm going a different route now. Keep it interesting. In our new motor. But overall, I love this car. 45,000 miles on the clock now at 42. I think when we got it. Drinks fuel because it is the petrol variant, or the 200 horsepower variant. Um, in Alpha Red. And it does need a wash. I don't know if you can see the marks here. It's been about three weeks since I washed in. It's just been too warm to wash it of late. Uh, yeah, I said 200 horsepower, um, but it, it might not actually be 200 horsepower. I'll, I'll say no more. Um, in a little bit, I might recreate on the teaser video when I had the Fabio, and I think it's on episode one, when I gave it the beans, I rather nonchalantly did a pull up to 70 on the dual carriageway. And I just pointed out, oh, that's 50 mile an hour, that's 70 mile an hour. And X amount of seconds took place between that time. If I get a chance and I remember, I'll do that again in this car. And the X amount of seconds between the 50 and the 70 will be a hell of a lot less. Um, but I've been currently in A mode, it's a DNA setting, dynamic, natural and uh, advanced eco, is it? And 99% of the time it's in A because I'm only doing like 32 miles a gallon and that's driving pretty much steady all the time. Uh, yeah, it's a lovely car. A bit quirky. It hasn't got Apple Android or whatever you call it. Apple, what do you call it? Apple CarPlay or Android. But I can USB my phone into it and that doesn't work for the music. It did the first time I plugged it in and then when I plugged the phone in since it just says connect device. So I've had to Bluetooth the phone to the car for my music. Hey ho. Uh, 
So what should we talk about other than the car? We're going through Fitzwilliam. Oh, we're still in Kinsley at this point, the dog track. We're past the dog track. It's Kinsley. And then it becomes Fitz Fitzwilliam at some point. There we go, look. Welcome to Fitzwilliam. Please drive carefully. That van could do with brighter indicators, really. So the reason I'm out back Hemsworth way again, I've been to the farm shop. In a previous video I went to Farm Foods after I've been to the farm shop, but now this time I've just been to the farm shop. Uh, I'll give a shout out, More Top Farm Shop, is it More? God, I've been going for years, is it More Top Farm Shop? I think it's More Top Farm Shop. I'll go get my spuds from there, 20 kilo sack, currently it's £6.90. I know there's inflation and everything, but I mean, I remember a few years ago, when the season was good, you could get a 20 kilo sack of white potatoes for less than four quid. Only two or three years ago. Currently 6 90 which again still isn't bad compared to supermarket prices for three or five kilos or whatever. They did have some Jersey Royals, a kilo bag for a pound, special offer. But I stopped myself, so I've only got a little bit of money on me. I stopped myself. was never a fan of boiled potatoes. I don't ever eat them mashed or chipped. I wouldn't even eat jacket, but I love it all now. Bring it on. Jersey Royals and a bit of minted butter. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. So I'm heading back home. Slightly the scenic route. Um, loads of road work still everywhere, but you probably all know that, living in the UK. Every 50 yards is bloody road works. I think it's a conspiracy. I'm just going to stick the Tim Fall hat on for a second. I think it's one of the government's many ways just to get, get us all to give up driving. Just think, oh, it. what's the point in driving anymore? They've taken all the joy out of it. It's no longer a fun thing to do. Well, I mean, that was a short run, even for me, wasn't it? So I'm not going anywhere near the infamous M62 again now, after that incident last time. Just a bit, just a bit of background, as the, the fence panel hit the car, you see a police car shooting past with his blues and twos on. Um, he was already coming up the slip road, as I did mention, with his lights flashing, so he was clearly on his way to another job. Another incident, when he saw what happened to me, so he diverted. We never did find out uh, which lorry the fence panel came off. Uh, the, the lorry that went over the fence panel, it kicked up from, he pulled over, um, but he didn't know which lorry had fallen off either. So we partex the Fabia for this. And I do not have to get leg eight because I'm still wanting to push the clutch down all the time. If the left leg is constantly in tension against the uh, footrest, I can't stop it. We've had the car two months now. I just can't stop pushing into the footwell. I think it'd be much better if I just stick my left leg over there somewhere. It is getting quite warm. I might have to open the window so if it affects the sound quality, many apologies. Right, window. Nostal now. Ahead of us is the old main entrance to Nostal Priory. Do have a day out there? I think I last went there back in the mid 80s when my cousin came over. We had a day there. I can't remember if there's a maze there and a play area. Obviously, in nearly 40 years, things are going to have changed a lot. I think we have some traffic lights. We do. There's a bridge over the lake here at Nostal Priory. And every five minutes they're doing something to it.
those of you who know this area might remember back in the day before all this was 30s and 40s and God knows what when it was a 60. If you're coming back Wakefield Way, it used to come flying over the bridge at not any more than 60, honestly. So you come flying over the bridge and you'd slam all on for this left hander to come round. Then with days. Not that I ever did that. I never ever went 80 mile an hour over that bridge. Almost took off and then slammed all on for this bend. Never. Not once. Just want to point that out. Just make that completely clear. I never did that. Ever. <coughs> so I can't remember what it is now. Is it a 30 or 40? Everyone seems to be doing 37. Oh, it's 40. There you go. It's 40 now. Give it a couple of years, it'll be 20. I'm going to open the window again. That's the back of Nostal Priory Estate. I think the air ambulance is stationed there. If not, it was at some point. The Yorkshire Air Ambulance. Do it for Yorkshire! My father-in-law's been in that helicopter. Woo! Claim to fame! Back in 2007. So I think that actually was a different helicopter, but it was the air ambulance helicopter at the time. I might insert a clip here. I might not. Well, I was taking them off of you. <laughs> well, it depends whether we're going up or down, mate. If we're going right. up, we'll take him. Yeah. If right. we're going down, we're going to go with Fell Rescue. Up, you? <laughs> definitely going up. Another paramedic proves how steep the climb is. Well, we've got a board here. Great. Very first series as well. When Richard Hammond from Top Gear was narrating the programme. And Richard Hammond coined the name Birdman Sam for my father-in-law. So I've always called him Birdman Sam since. Well, very rarely. It held more kudos at the time, not 17 years later. A lovely drive on a sunny day in not the countryside. <coughs> it's the little things that tickle me. This pub up here, the Cock and Crown, many years ago before they redeveloped it, it used to have a big sign on and it said Cock and Crown and then food through the middle on a big round sign. I used to, used to say Cock and Food because you could quite easily read it as that Cock and Food. So if you want to go there for Cock and Food, you know, you could have done. Stage two remap. Did I say that though? Did I? Did I? Did I say that? Did I? Didn't say a word. <coughs> Stage two remap. <coughs> ah, the famous Redbeck Motel. Don't worry, I've not forgot about doing a comparative 50 to 70 mile an hour run. Because all being well, I'll be on that same stretch of dual carriage where I did last time, only going in the opposite direction. I shall be turning on to the uh, relatively new Wakefield Bypass. in a momento. So instead of straight going through Wakefield, I'm going to go around it, around it.
there's a bit of a queue going to wake anyway so good job I'm not taking that route there's a Starbucks new housing estates going up This is the site of the old Wakefield power station used to be here. I used to look forward to seeing those mighty erections at uh, the cooling towers. It was a landmark, clearly. Coming out to these new houses, a lot of new houses now. They don't have any gardens anymore, and uh, quite frankly, I think most people don't want gardens anymore. Developers can make more money out of a plot, and uh, people don't have to buy a lawnmower. I understand that. But I like to grow my own vegetables, you see. That's what I'm trying to get into. I'm still a new. Supposed to get up to 28 degrees Celsius today. Why do we start saying Celsius? I remember as a kid, again, growing up, we always said centigrade. <coughs> I like centigrade. Centigrade. Celsius just sounds sloppy. It's like we mash it up. Celsius. No. Centigrade. So, I believe this is Newton Bar end of Wakefield now. Cut all the way around it. Top side. <laughs> Can you guess? No roadworks. I don't know if they're widening or spending 30 million on a single cycle lane. Excuse me. Oh, I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. I never promised you rose garden. Right, after this next roundabout, I'm going to cane it and do that 50 to 70 thing. I'll shut the window so you can hear me. I'm going to put the car in D, dynamic mode. That increases the sort of response, gives me more power. It's just all good stuff. Right, I'll call it in. I'll get on the straight bit first, a little bit. Right, here we go, flooring it. 50. 70. I think that's a little bit quicker than the old Skoda. Give me the beans. It's 50. 70. I'm back in A again. I'm in good boy mode now. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Whee! Right folks, I think I bored you stupid for long enough, so I'll end it there. Thanks for watching. I'll edit this all down to some interesting bits, so expect a 20 second video. Thanks for watching, I'll hopefully see you all in the next one. Comment below if you find anything you need to add to anything, or I'm just talking bollocks again now. Anyway, see you all in the next one. Bye bye. <laughs>